Hello and welcome back to our channel. My name is Sarah. If you're new here, I am married to Solo and we have 10 kids age 16 down to almost one year old. Today we are doing a what we're having for dinner vlog. So we're gonna show you five, maybe six nights of dinner what we're having for our large family and I'm collaborating with a few other women. First of all, my friend Liana from Melbourne, Australia. She has 10 kids too, and they are about the same age as my kids. I have known her since when I started the channel. <laughs> she's a friend. And she is a midwife. She stays home with her kids right now, but I'm a nurse, so I love that about her. And we talk often. <sighs> Giggling children right there. And then she introduced me to two other ladies, and the four of us are all sharing what's for dinner. So. Uh, obviously Liana and I have big families, but the other two have more normal sized families. Tammy from Hall & Co has two kids. She's got some great food inspiration on her channel and cleaning inspiration, all kinds of stuff. And then Rachel from Simply Honest Living has a teenager at home and a husband. So if you are looking for meal inspiration, I know I get stuck in a rut sometimes and I am looking, then I encourage you to check out those other channels that I'm collabing with today and I will link them down below. Liana makes great food. She's good at the food situation and she shares that on YouTube, but she also shares it on Instagram a lot too. So you can check them out and let me show you what's for dinner tonight here. Tonight we did something super easy last minute. Because the meat was thawed, it took about, I don't know, 12 minutes to make it, which is one of my favorites. We often meal prep and make all our food at one time, but there's always a few days in between that we're cooking that night. And today we did egg roll in a bowl with riced cauliflower. It's a low carb meal and it smells amazing. I started with four pounds of ground beef and I just started cooking that up. I threw in a whole onion with it and then I added in about eight tablespoons maybe of sesame oil. I did a third cup of liquid aminos and a third cup of soy sauce just to mix it up. I was very generous with the minced ginger and the minced garlic and five bags of this 12 ounces of rice cauliflower, five bags. So it is a full pot. I got this huge Dutch oven off of Amazon and we use it, I would say two to three times a week at least for large skillet meals, just like what everybody else would use a normal skillet for when we make those meals. I love a Dutch oven for that. It just allows me to get so much in there. So this is what's for dinner tonight. When we put it in bowls, we I think we have some green onions still in our garden. We'll just chop some of those on top. It smells so good. Just quick and easy and low carb. On a scale of one to 10, how excited are you about how this smells? Amazing. <laughs> no, like on a scale of one to 10. Okay, on a scale of one to 10, <laughs> nine. Okay, that's pretty good. You know what I'm gonna put on my bowl? Some goat cheese. All right guys, what's for dinner tonight is a low carb taco soup that I made in the pressure cooker. I actually made this on uh, my meal prep video last Wednesday. I'll link it down below if you wanna see the exact recipe. It's very good. It's meat, tomatoes, beef broth, cream cheese, and heavy whipping cream. How could you go wrong? So good. We're gonna add avocado on top and eat it that way. What's for dinner tonight? Tonight we're having ndengu, which is a Kenyan dish. It's made of mung beans, and Solo actually put, you put beef in it, right? You can do vegetarian, or you can put beef in it. Yeah, and usually we have a veg vegetarian, I think, but today we have beef in it, so it's really good. Anyway, it has like tomatoes and garlic and ginger and cilantro. And it smells amazing. There's a nice big pot of it. All right, what's for dinner tonight? I am starting, it's loud in here, man. I am starting some brown rice. I've got four cups of brown rice in my pressure cooker. We like this brown basmati rice. And I washed this rice. My husband made me do that. <laughs> he likes it better that way. I don't usually wash rice. I threw in three tablespoons of butter just because I happen to have a stick that big and I'm gonna sprinkle in a little curry powder. Just a little bit in there. Our house is always loud and dinner time is the loudest. Anybody else have kids and can relate? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna set this on, oh, should plug it in. I usually set it on either multi-grain or I just set it for 20 minutes. Either way, because multi-grain comes up as 20 minutes, so. I don't think there's a difference. Tonight is a school night here. We had school all day. In fact, it's 5.30, 5.50. And I just finished a little bit ago with the last child. So it was a full day and now I got work, I have work to do. 
and I didn't really get dinner started earlier, but we're gonna do salmon, which is fast. And it's normally something I put in the oven, which is quick and easy, but when I started the oven, there was a fire in the bottom of it because it is that bad. Like, you know, pizza leaking down to the bottom that doesn't get cleaned. I have put off cleaning my oven forever because I don't like how it smells. It's so stinky. I have the self-cleaning thing, but it just smells so bad. I can't put it off any longer. I just started the self-cleaner, so we're gonna try to just put the salmon in, on the stove our grill's not working very well right now. <laughs> We're a mess. We're still gonna eat dinner and actually won't take very long. It'll take as long as this rice takes to cook. I'll get some veggies going in the microwave probably or in another pot and make the salmon quick. At least the salmon's all marinated and thawed and ready to go, which is the beauty of meal prepping. Does it seem a little smoky in here? It's smoky in here. I wonder if that'll start on fire again. We got some burritos thawing, I probably should move them. But they're thawing for breakfast tomorrow. Breakfast breakfast burritos that we meal prepped ahead. So that'll be easy. It did die down. The fire was big. Oh, and now it's gone. So it's burning it up. Burning it off somehow. Here's my salmon that had been prepped and is ready to go. It has cilantro all over it and oh, an olive oil lemon sauce and salt and pepper and it smells awful in here wish you could tell how awful it smells in here actually for a side i just decided to use this huge bowl and throw together a salad threw in some lettuce a little goat cheese some tomatoes a little bit of bacon crumbles that'll help all the kids like the salad and some homemade ranch dressing just lightly and uh, some of them will go around the tomatoes <laughs> That'll be a good side. Most of my kids like salad actually a lot, but bacon mitts really help too. <laughs> Check out the elaborate ball happening on the deck right now. <laughs> oh my. Our house is very smoky, but we have some salmon. How's it turning out, you think? It's okay. Yeah? It's okay, I think so. The cilantro lemon olive oil marinade is pretty good. I'd be interested to see what it's like baked though. This is gonna be a interesting dinner. Salmon, rice, salad, and deviled eggs. Oh, I was about to say. Bella's been craving deviled eggs, so she made it. No, them. I have not. <laughs> I have been craving an egg salad. Oh. But I haven't been able to make egg salad. And I probably won't the way we're going. <laughs> yeah, she's making deviled eggs as a side dish. Here is one of the kids' dinners. We have a butter lemon sauce for on top of the rice and it's good, turn out good. Some kids are getting devil eggs on the side and we may have apple cider for dessert. It's a weird one, weird combo, but good. <laughs> Here is what's for dinner tonight. We have butter chicken. This is not the normal butter chicken I make because I did it with a whole bunch of big chicken breasts that were frozen. So it's a little water waterier and then we shredded it. Usually I cut up chicken thighs so they're chunked and they are thawed already. So um, we just added a little cream. Usually I don't mind when things are a little water waterier. <laughs> Why do I keep saying that? You guys ask me that a lot. When we bake stuff, usually the extra juice goes on the rice that we're having it with and it works out great. But this one, I wanted the creaminess. So I could have also waited to put the heavy cream in after it cooked. I think that might be better too. We had a bunch of bowls out here. Cooling off for little ones. But this is brown rice left over from last night. We made plenty so it would go double. And we had two bags of frozen broccoli that we put in the microwave. And we put a lot of butter and salt on them and our kids love broccoli that way. So that's what's for dinner tonight. It tastes great. It's better with chicken thighs, but this worked for very fast. Do you guys like butter chicken? Yeah. Some of our big kids are at youth tonight. There's Tori's bowl. Think she likes broccoli? She loves it. One more thing before I end this video. You remember that fire I started <laughs> in the oven? Well, a lot of the ovens he brought here are self-cleaning. So you push a button and it gets, it locks up the oven door. My girls are being loud. And it gets very, very hot and, it, and that's thus the fire <laughs> because it burned up some of that stuff on the bottom. It burned up a lot of that stuff. So we're gonna clean it out. Here's what it looks like. 
really gross. You can see some old pepperonis probably there. Even this door is disgusting. Oh, it's awful. Okay, so Micah and I are gonna kind of clean it out here, see what we can do. So we can use it. Oh, Ugh, I don't know if paper towels gonna do the trick. It's gonna take a lot of paper towels to clean this thing out. This is supposed to make it easy to wipe out, but I haven't done it in a long time because the smell of cleaning it is really hard for me to wasn't, endure. It wasn't too bad. Okay, I'm gonna have to find some rags here. The rag worked much better. And I think on this glass door, we might be able to use the razors that we clean the stove top with. Oh. <laughs> Belle would not be able to handle that sound. So the razors we use, I'll link them down below because we love these razors for cleaning our glass stove top. We got it all off with that razor and some water on a rag and all of that just with water on a rag. So it's looking amazing. One more thing to do before we use it. This is not very heavy duty, so I'll get some heavy duty stuff and replace it. But this will work for now. Desi! Are you just being loud to be loud? It's gonna be nice. There we go. Next time it's horrible, we just rip all that stuff out and throw it away. So the last meal we're gonna show you is actually a lunch for us today, but you could use it as a dinner. It's really good. We're using this naan bread from Sam's Club. It was a big package, and we're gonna do a light spread of this pizza sauce. It doesn't have any added sugar in it, and we're just gonna do a light sauce with this thing on all of these pieces, and then some mozzarella cheese and pepperoni. You like pepperoni? No, I can make it. You can. Oh, okay. We're gonna we're gonna bake it for at 4:25 for I don't know. I'll let you know. <laughs> the kids basically make these. Voila. <laughs> Looks good. We got four in there, three coming, and three more being made. We end up eating about 10. I did 15 minutes. We like them a little crispy. And I'll probably, I'm doing 13 minutes on the next one though because the oven's getting hotter. Those have bacon bits instead of pepperoni, and we got another four in there. So good. Easy dinner. We've actually tried pizza on tortillas before, we've made a lot of homemade pizza doughs. The naan, I think, is the favorite of all of them. It's easy, too, because it's already made. <laughs> okay, that's it, lunch is done. I hope you enjoyed this view of our dinners this week, maybe give you some ideas. Please check out the other ladies that I collabed with. Um, you're gonna get, if you look at everybody's, you'll get like a month's worth of dinner ideas because there were four of us and we each did a week. Again, I will leave their channels in the description box below. Today, this morning, I think even, they are going to be posting their videos, so you can check them out. Thank you guys for watching today and we will talk to you again soon. Bye.